coming up in today's video. Huge W for my boy Lace Stripe Z's video. Uh, he did a phenomenal job covering how to do this. Uh, Michael, if you're watching this video, you're a legend. Continue making amazing Fortnite content, my brother. So Lace Stripes recently had a new video about how to get zero input delay. We're gonna be testing every single step here on this channel. My name's Cameron. Welcome everybody who's new. Subscribe, like the video. Let's just jump right in. But guys, there is a method which I just wanna show you real quick, yeah? I'm just gonna open up my old document here and we can now see if we are playing on something like 144 hertz, you should put your FPS actually on 141 cap. Three FPS lower than your actual refresh rate. If you're playing on 240 Hz, put it on 237. Also, if you don't own a G-Sync monitor, this still helps Fortnite actually a lot out, especially here in chapter three with the new Unreal Engine. This makes a huge difference in terms of smoothness. Pretty much what you guys should do is just simply take your refresh rate off your monitor and just simply um, go down by three FPS if you're playing on a 60 hertz monitor, of course you can still play on 144 um, FPS cap because you should still probably go on a higher FPS on a lower hertz monitor, which I already explained so often here in my videos. But if you're running something a little bit higher, you know, maybe like 120 hertz, put it on 170. If you're playing on 144, put it on 141. We're basically making ourselves programmers here. Let's jump into that setting. All right, to do the step, you guys are gonna come down to the search bar, type in percent local app data, percent sign. Oops, it'll give you this folder here. We need to locate Epic Games. Oh no, I'm sorry, Fortnite game. Once you open up Fortnite game, go to saved, config, Windows client, and then you can find your game user settings here. So what he did is he right clicked on it. He went to properties. You wanna make sure it's not ticked on read only. That's the only change you need to make sure of. To so make sure that you can make changes by unticking read only if it is ticked for you guys. Then you're gonna open it. We're gonna find the frame rates. Ah, oh, sick, I found front end frame rate limit. You know how it's 120 in the lobby? Let's just change this to 999. <laughs> I don't think that'll work, but whatever. Okay, so frame rate limit found it it's set to 120 right now i have a 240 uh, hertz monitor so i'm going to do 237 we'll go ahead and save this in this next step i'm just going to show you how to delete some data which can actually cause crashes of fortnite here and actually reduce your fps so therefore what you guys want to do is again go into your windows search bar just simply type in presenter 10 presenter open it up uh, then we're going to click onto local press f on our keyboard until we find fortnite game save config and here we can see now crash report client guys yeah we can see there are tons of data actually in there we're just gonna select all of them and actually delete them real quick here shouldn't take too long all right so this is like the oldest technique in the book but it does actually help with performance basically he's clearing caches and cookies um, every single app on on your computer will store caches and cookies deleting those does sometimes help it boost up a bit it especially helps with clearing errors and bugs so let's go ahead and take care of that. Now the way that he got there was typing in percent sign temp percent sign, but you can actually just go to local app data again, go into Fortnite game, saved, config, Windows uh, crash report client, and then all these you wanna go ahead and delete. So this should help just make our PC a little bit more stable and also help keep it at that frame rate that we're setting as a limit. Um, more consistently and easily. So let's check out his next tip as well. As well, pressing the Windows key and I on your keyboard, you know, then you just simply <gasps> go to your Windows settings, then we're gonna click here onto gaming. Hang on a second, boys. I don't mean to throw my guy under the bus, but is he simping? What are you doing, step bro? You see the game mode. Sorry. Sorry, Lay Stripes. I had to do that, man. <laughs> Couldn't resist. Yeah, yeah, so this tip is actually really good for Windows 10. On Windows 11, he's absolutely right. I guess it doesn't really have much of a performance boost on Windows 11 yet, but maybe in the future, they'll do some type of update and make it a lot better. You wanna make sure that you have high performance uh, selected for Fortnite. And if you don't have it in there, I'll show you where you can find it. You're gonna browse for it though. So what you're gonna do first is go to your program files, Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, binaries win 64 and you'll see it right here you want to select the top one the one that just says shipping not the be or the eac and then like i mentioned the uh, windows 11 doesn't have a game mode that really helps with boosting fps but on windows 10 absolutely go to game mode and make sure that's turned on i'll show you where you can find that so you're just going to come down here type in game mode 
you'll see a setting here, game mode settings, click on that and just make sure this is on because this does help a lot on Windows 10. Not so much on Windows 11, but maybe they'll update it. We'll have to wait and see. So guys, and for the next step, also a super easy thing you can do. Again, press your Windows key, press I, so we get like into the system control panel here. And then we're gonna click on the storage, spaces, drives, and configuration rules, yeah? I've been like recording videos now for a few days in a row, you know, we're gonna click onto temporary files. And we can see that I might have 55 gigabytes in my recycling bin. And also some previous Windows installations, which are 14.5 gigabytes. And for this next step, guys, we're just gonna defragment our current disk, which I have right now here on my Windows. We're just gonna go into the Windows search bar and just simply type in disk until we find defragment and optimize drives, yeah? Um, we're just simply gonna open it up. And then we can see now, guys, I have two solid state drives. My main C1, which is the M.2 SSD, two terabyte. And then my second one is like a normal SSD and then also like a normal hard disk, yeah? And you can see here, guys, I haven't even utilized the hard disk. So therefore, if you have some sort of storage in your PC, which you haven't utilized, you don't need to do this for them. But let's just say the two ones which you utilize a lot, you're just simply gonna actually make sure that it's selected. And you can see my last optimization was 78 days ago. So therefore, that's quite some time. And we're just gonna click here onto optimize. All right, guys, so for those two clips, as you saw there, he defragmented his hard drive in the second part. In the first part, he actually just deleted like uh, I think temporary files, files that basically haven't been used in a long time. So it's really easy to do both those tips, but they're absolutely beneficial and they're in every single gaming guide for achieving better performance in FPS. I've actually never deleted this, uh, well at least not in a long time. So just check everything you feel comfortable deleting. You might want to take a second glance at your recycle bin in case you have something in there that you need. Um, downloads. So this will delete all your downloads. It can be quite a lot. So um, deleting all of these, definitely do that at your own risk. Um, think about if there's anything you downloaded that you want to hang on to before you just delete your downloads. For everything else, you know, just delete what you feel comfortable deleting. And this does speed up your PC, helps out. While we're waiting on this to purge, I just want to explain something here. Lace Stripe Z, we have this weird synergy going on, man. Like, I'll, I'll, t I'll give you a couple examples, right? He's six foot five. I'm five foot six, okay? He's 13 and I'm 31. All right, and for the defragment, super easy to do that. Just type in defrag and you'll get defragment and optimize drives. And on here, you're just gonna optimize them. Uh, I did this about eight days ago for a separate video, but it's something that's really, really beneficial and super, super quick. You just click optimize and optimize. This is gonna check through every single file in your drive, just to clean them up. So yeah, boys, not a whole lot to this video. This is just gonna give you a little bit more stability. But one thing I'm dying to see is if changing our Fortnite gamer game user setting did in fact change our front end FPS. So let's go ahead and restart and see if that works. Moment of truth. It worked. Let's go. Look in the bottom left. 237 FPS. And it's so consistent. It's not dropping or anything. Well, this is the pregame lobby. Let me go ahead and jump into a creative match and just make sure. All right, so you can see that we're on 237 FPS when I stand still. Looking around, it does drop lower on my low FPS. It always has, but it is jumping up on low FPS over 200 pretty often. I haven't done any other optimizations today, like my game boosters, which help a ton. If you guys want to just check out free FPS boosters, check out this video on the screen here. You can find a link to it in the description. Amazing video because it does help a ton. But as you can see, like my FPS is not dropping at all for my high cap FPS at 237. It is staying right at that cap, which is phenomenal. But yeah, the low FPS will dip down occasionally, but usually it's pretty good and it's over 200. So this is a clear W and the smoothness of it feels really good. I feel like I have no input delay, which is insane. Huge W for my boy Lace Stripe Z's video. Uh, he did a phenomenal job covering how to do this. Uh, Michael, if you're watching this video, you're a legend. Continue making amazing Fortnite content, my brother. And uh, as always, guys, hope you guys have an awesome day. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out for now.